As we continue to make our way through a selection of posing apps, we're going to step away from human figures for a moment and take a look at an app that aims to give us posing capabilities to something a little bit more magical and fantastical and hopefully give us a whole new range of possibilities for our art. And that comes in the form of a little bit of a hidden gem called Monster Poser. As the name of the app suggests, Monster Poser is all about puppeteering and capturing reference images for an array of monsters and fantasy creatures. Whilst it's not the most polished app on the market, it makes up for its graphical shortcomings with a long list of characters with lots of posing capabilities. Here you'll find over 50 creatures to play around with including fantasy classics like dragons, demons, goblins and trolls alongside a whole bunch of very alien looking creatures as well, everything from tentacled to crab like monsters. Each character has its own unique set of poses and controls depending on its anatomy, wings, tails, claws, facial features, even items of clothing of certain characters have their own posing options. There's a whole bunch of fun to play around with here which makes Monster Poser probably the most densely packed posing app there is and given it's one of the cheaper ones on the market means you're getting a lot of value for your money. On top of this, each character has its own unique set of animation presets to choose from. There are animations for fighting and attacking, walking, jumping, flying, even death animations. There's a lot to cycle through. All of which you can pause onto the desired frame that you like and adjust the pose to your needs. On top of the large character selection and near endless posing controls, Monster Poser also comes with a list of camera filter options which allows you to adjust the tone, mood and even the structure of the model. Here you can add in focus effects, alter the brightness, contrast and saturation, add in glow and bloom effects, create silhouettes and even add in a manga style flash. Or you can mix and match different effect combinations together. If you're looking for a reference that's a little bit more tailored to your artistic style, you're likely to find one with these options here. The camera controls are similar to other apps, although there is no pinch to zoom finger gesture here. Instead, you have to use the screen controls next to the field of view slider. So what are the app's shortcomings? Well, as handy as it is having all these monster options, the more anatomically complex characters are sometimes quite laborious to puppeteer. In many cases, it's significantly easier to simply use the animation presets and alter them to your needs. The number of characters available means it's pretty much impossible to develop any posing muscle memory because of just how different each of them are. The other issue is simply the app's graphics. This is a relatively cheap app and you kind of get what you pay for. The models here are perfectly fine if you're just looking for a rough anatomical guide for your fantasy creature, but not super useful if you're wanting something a bit more believable. Character renderings vary quite substantially. Some do a pretty good job, others are in need of a serious update. There's also only one source of light available, so there are some notable limitations here. Overall, if you're a comic book or a concept artist, or if you're someone wanting an additional tool to help you out with your creature design, then Monster Poser is probably going to come in handy. It's not going to win any posing app awards anytime soon, but it's fairly straightforward and simple to use and pretty fun to play around with and is available on iPad and Android.